Hey everyone, what's up? Rob here, and I thought I'd do a quick update on some of the other seismic activity and potential eruptions that we're seeing in Iceland. And specifically, we're going to be talking about Askia today. Now, this is this is where it is, and I'm going to zoom out so that you all get an idea of where it is in Iceland. I mean, Reykjavik is way down here in the corner, and we're looking at above this Vatnjok, uh National Park is this area here with the Askia. Uh, volcanic system. Now this volcanic system has been moderately active over the last while um, and not very very recently but you know the last eruption was moderate mostly a fuse of eruption back in 1961 that lasted about five to six weeks and uh, so it's it's not you know quite you know it's something that could come up over and over again. The reason that this is coming up now is Previously, in one of my videos, we talked about this uncertainty level back in September that they've declared for this ongoing uplift that's been going on in this area. If we take a look at this picture here, we can see that the actual lift of the earth is almost near vertical. And they can say there, you know, this is an image, it's a set of images that they took from the 1st of August to the 5th of September. And you can see where the red is, is how much the earth is actually rising up. Now, yesterday, or I should say, you know, this morning, at around 8 o'clock, there was an earthquake that measured 3 on, on the magnitude scale. And this is something that's kind of unusual for this area, and it's the largest earthquake since the turn of the century, from what they're saying. And so they're saying that earthquake that struck Aska this morning is, like I said, the, the strongest that's been detected. And that's why it's such a big deal. We can see by this green star here exactly what's going on. Now, the quake here is thought to be linked to the magma intrusions as this land continues to rise up. And now, the quake, the, which measured three again, is about seven kilometers northwest of Oskivat. And so if we take a look at the map, we can see here. And so it's, it's a little bit outside of this actual lake. Um, but there has been a land eruption going on there, kind of, you know, this, this land rising, not, not a volcanic eruption, but this land rising up and magma intrusions below at a depth of around three kilometers. So this actually indicates that there is a continuing eruption underneath everything in this area, says one of the nature conservation specialists at the Icelandic Meteorological Office. But this does not necessarily mean that it's actually going to, the magma is going to break through the surface and we're going to get an eruption. So as it is now, they're saying that it's still pretty deep down, but they've got to keep an eye on it. And there have been around 300 earthquakes that have been recorded in this area. But as I said, this 3.0 magnitude is the largest earthquake that they've recorded since, you know, for a while. And the second largest was back in 2014. And they're saying that one was a magnitude of 2.5. But they're all around the similar depth. So who knows what's going on here? But I thought it was really interesting to see and this map bring this to your guys attention and and show you that there is stuff going on around the whole country but aside from that let's move over to Kalia really really quick and it's been very very quiet for the last couple days i mean we can see here there's not much going on if we go to the table we can see that the total in the Reykjanes Peninsula is only 152 i know a couple days ago we were going above 200 300 and things like that but only around 100 earthquakes have been detected over the last, well, since midnight. And it's decreasing day by day. And they're saying that because the earthquakes are still at such great depths, that no meters have measured any magma, and it might not be until the magma goes up higher towards the surface that they could even detect it. So who knows if something's going to continue happening there. It, it does look like it's slowing down. But as this one is slowing down, as, as we were saying just a moment ago, these other areas are starting to pop up. So I just wanted to do a quick video on this and let you know what's going on and show you this sort of vertical rise that's going on and where this is because this may be the next potential eruption. It's kind of everything's kind of pointing in that direction. So we're going to have to wait and see. So until next time, thank you so much for watching. And uh, yeah, subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks so much.